That was a day, baby. Holy licorice, we're back. Day, day a bunch of waiting. Yeah. Yeah, we sat for five days and we're back. A little overcast, but final rounds, quarter semis final, so looking forward to it. Nervous as all hell, but slept a little better last night than day one. <laughs> I'm stoked. It's going to be crazy. Good job. Thank you. Yo, what's up? Come on in! But yeah, it's gonna be like really deep, I think. And then going. But I think it's set up a lot. Like you could feel the snow was a little denser yesterday, right? I bet it's pretty yeah, like it's kind of The, the wind snow today is like. The, that one guy, Cruz, he said it was like creamy. Yeah. Like, so it'll be like fast, like. Cream dense. We like it creamy. Creamy snow. Yeah, yeah creamy is nice. Cream is nice. Yeah, it's, like, like, it's like lotion. Bakes, would you say we like it creamy? Put the lotion on the skin. <laughs> we saw Shane Charlebois. Shane Charlebois and he's just like... He's here? No, oh, this yeah. was a while ago in Alpine and he's like, Oh, the snow's so good today, it's like riding through the ocean. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Like, you don't want a Tommy like, in that with your mouth open. Let's <laughs> uh, yeah. go, boys. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put him in, put him in. I think I think it's pretty protected in there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was pretty nice. Now that I think about yeah, it, should have ran yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should have got a water. How you feeling, buddy? I'm good. I'm stoked to be riding again. It's so nice. This is too much fun. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm hoping it's just really fun in there and everything works and I'm sure it will yeah sick that's what I like to hear and thanks for the informative vid on the the takeoffs because I was looking I was like damn they definitely look they might be like Super Mario boosters like when you get onto the hard pack yeah see Travis making final adjustments there. I think the best term or best phrase to, to you know, describe this matchup is the great ones rise. Feature, Genesis one huge backside rodeo. And this is his opportunity to really rebate and take advantage of what he has built. Gigantic cab nine from Travis Rice. That was a completely different look than we've seen from Trap. Drop your, uh, you want to drop your tag on the wall of Stoke here? Sure. Oh, alright. And then what's your, uh, what's your line? For and then I go to the left. If you're talking about riders who embody snowboard competition, you're looking at them right here. Mark McMorris on course. I've heard rumors and dabblings about what he might have in store. Mark but making purple his signature kit, matching all the way down to the Oakley goggles. That back seven was beautiful. I mean, the amount of times that Mark has dropped second or at the end oh wow and really come through i mean th this guy has the ability to to focus and just put it down under pressure and if you're dropping after travis rice in his home court that is pressure and if you saw those back-to-back -back sevens coupled with that method also take into account it's the intricacies of the run that the judges are also scoring that was a nice line through the trees at the end honestly that looked fun Oh, 
<laughs> wow. All Come right. on, buddy. Let's go. Mark Good McMorris time. with an 88. How about if he comes back and puts the pressure on Mark McMorris? Let's watch. Cab 540 into a frontside three. Power, speed, and strength. That is Travis Rice. Double backflip from Travis Rice. This isn't the time to lay back. This is he's got to put it all out there. He's got a good run to to lay, lean on, but he can't he can't rely on it being 100%. He doesn't even know what layback means unless it's a slash. <laughs> I've not seen him in anything other than a purple variation kit signature color. Wildcat to open up. Mark taking the riders left side of the course. There's that backside 720. Perfect landing. Mark's feeling good as we start coming into the more open part of the course. Into the front side seven, similar to his first run, and pay attention to those turns in between. So there's that cab underflip. And Mark stayed on his feet. If he can continue this run, I think he's going to advance. That was four big tricks. It's over. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, buddy. Yeah, Travis. Nice work, Thank bro. Thank you. Way to keep it clean. Hey. Dude, double backy. What? What happened? Oh, I did whatever. I, I was anticipating what you were going to do. I knew I had to step it up. This guy, huh? How solid is this dude? This guy bringing us here to Jackson. How lucky are we? <laughs> oh. Moving on, baby. Love you, Trav. Yeah, you too, my friend. Well, you may remember a time when uh, McMo ragdolled down all of the bald face. face. First time he kind of did one at T-Rice's contest. Just came in and I think got the highest score. Kind of put a hurting on T. Ricky. You know that one's got to sting. You know that one's got to sting. Good stuff, though. Good TV. Mickle bang. Mickle bang. Beautiful fella from Norway. He's like 6'3, rides a buck 70, schnitzel's about this long. <laughs> been my idol forever. It's going to be fun to compete with him. Um, I think I just want to ride smooth and strong. If I can do something like that second run again, I'd be super stoked. How are you feeling going up against Mark? Oh, it's, it's exciting, dude. <laughs> he's been running so well and, you know, he's, he's so good at competing. So I just got to make sure to land my, my run and then try and enjoy myself for that's the most important part. Yeah, mates, have fun, brother! Oakley, Burton, Libtech, Quicksilver, and really the alliance is to provide the athletes in the tour with resources so they can go out on the mountain and do their magic. Known for having some of the best style in snowboarding. We saw it in the first run with that switch method. Ooh. Oh! All of these athletes safe in case of fall. Oh my god. That was more than a nose tap. Really Yo. Good to see oh, he wants my cab five? Oh, yeah, you do, bang, bang. Oh, shit. Dude, he hit the... I wonder how his base is. That was crazy. I am so glad he's all good. That was a rogue one. Sending mini spins on these side hits it was so amazing. He's just, he's, he's flawless. I heard there were some heavy dick stitch sessions going down the oh, yeah. last few days. All right, Mark starting off with a wild cat and no problem landing that and riding away clean. Beautiful backside seven, getting a little bit off access. Making it look pretty easy right now. Ooh. I think that might have been my fault. <laughs> Down on the front seven. The announcer curse. We've heard about that. 
Hey, but I have to say, is that a little bit of sun coming out? It does look brighter up there right now. It's still snowing in the announcer booth, but it looks brighter <laughs> up there. Underflip for McMorris coming into the to the uh, base here. Half cab, front one, backflip. I'd say he was squeaking oh. everything he could get out of that run. Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah, that was gnarly though. Oh, yeah. he's home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh nice. so for run one, uh, Mark with a 64.6, Mickle with a 60, and that's oh, yeah. with falls. Holy shit, dude. I just went a little too fast on that front seven. I kind of got fucking smoked. <laughs> Buddy. Huh? Relax. Yeah, exactly. Everything was pretty clean up until then, though. Just gotta relax. Micklebank, second run. This is it. This is his final chance. Rock rider, at least tap it. Like these are going a long way for him, and that's why we're still watching him. Here he comes into that hit. Oh, and he Gets holds it. on to it. Yes today was not familiar with Mickle Bang before now. Definitely look moment today. And there you go. He did a backside five and he rode switch the whole oh. way down until he found another hit to do a cab five. Oh. Right, right. Did you tap it, Yeah. Right. All right, Mark McMorris on course. He has such a different headspace. I mean, usually if he's drop in last in this kind of situation. He's like, okay, there was a 12, a double cork 10. Now it's like, okay, there was a rock tap and switch turns. <laughs> I'm nervous. There we go, back seven, looking as clean as ever. Oh, wow. Beautiful frontside 720, holds on to it. It's a combo we've seen, and, and, but he's got it dialed, and it's still, that's going to do well for him in this run. This. Nice yeah, I mean, nice one. Yeah, sir. Cool. Execution overall control. This is a brutal, brutal situation for the judges. Uh, this is the finals, ladies and gentlemen, here at Natural Selection. And look at those two names. Ben Ferguson matching up against Mark McMorris. The way Ben has been riding today, he might have the advantage. Sometimes it's better just to go. You know what you want to do. Just go out and do it. Find your line on the course. So Ben Ferguson on course. First run of men's finals, cab underflip into that front side 540, and he goes down. I imagine that uh, that Mark is uh, watching that, and going, "Okay, okay, the door is open." <laughs> I mean, think of the riders that these two have already eliminated eliminated today. You know, Mark took out Travis Rice. Uh, ben took out Sage Kotzenberg. That backside nine, that's why Ben is on one today. Yeah. He came with a different mentality. Yep. Leading up to this. Yeah, and, you know, you're looking at the current, the most dominant slope style rider of all time. If Mark pulls this off and takes out Ben Ferguson in the finals, he enters a different stratosphere of professional snowboarding, which I did not think was possible before this event existed. Well, absolutely. I mean, the last time we really saw him in the backcountry at a competition was 2013. He has gotten so much better since then. He has put a lot of time. Oh, oh wow. Double wildcat from Mark McMorris, end over end, double backy. He's in a different stratosphere right now he's on a, he's on another level front side 720 
catches a little bit of snow there. So he did fall right there. Mark mm -hmm. McMorris did go down, adding to the drama of this final, similar to Ben Ferguson. Cab wow. nine from wow. So that was new. That wow. was new, which goes to show you that Mark is always thinking two or three steps ahead yeah. of his competitors. Yeah. Yeah, there's a if there is a place that I feel like would feel dangerous to be in, it is dropping before Margaret Morris. Oh, oh so it is yeah, Mark Morris with the lead after that first run. 81.6. It was so fun. Buck and Bronco that run. Oh, yeah. I, I fell riding all the time. Well, that's and like, that's what if, if you win the tour, right? No, I think if you win... Uh, actually, I think it's the Polaris here. It's the sled, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I could have an American sled. That would be dope. It's a little incentive. I was getting hawked around. That was crazy that front seven was. Dude, front seven, <laughs> keep landing in the same track. I know. It's hard, to, like, and I'm yeah. taking off far on the right, but, like, it just, like, shoots you. I swear the takeoff is, like, um, maybe this time, if I go, if I go cab five, double cat, back seven, maybe, yeah, the then I could Touch a bit more of that right yeah. landing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like yeah, I'm sure they did, but I, that was a f <laughs> that was crazy that I did that. <laughs> I was like, wow, I just landed a cab nine on that. That was so crazy. <laughs> well, you know, like I. It's, those are the only two 900s of the contest, Ben and I. Yeah, we'll see. I think... I think I should keep the cab five to double backflip. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Fergals. To the bottom. Yeah, let's get it. And it is a new game with a tiebreaker, and I know at home you're... Even if you're a Mark McMorris fan, you're rooting for Ben Ferguson in this run so we can get more snowboarding. And it, the pressure doesn't get to Ben. He's stood at the top of every major snowboard contest in the world. Let's see if he can put one down. Cab 540. Into the front side five. Ben Ferguson is flowing right now. Popping back around a regular. And what's it going to be here? Beautiful method from Ben Ferg. That trademark method. I think for the future we should have a mandatory method in every run. I agree. That's legislation I'm behind. <laughs> Shout out to our drone pilots, the drone racers. As it looks like Ben Ferguson went down on the 720. We'll see it back in the replay. And if I'm Ben, I'm getting one or two more pow slashes in there before hitting that rider corral. There's nothing more that Mark McMorris can win besides this event. He's won it all. He's done it all. So his sights are set. And when, when his sights are set, much like, you know, Travis Rice, it can be scary. It's a scary thing. It's a great point. The most de decorated competitor in snowboarding. And as we heard from competitors uh, like Sage earlier mentioning that a win here would have been more uh, important to him than a, another gold medal in the Olympics. I mean, this event carries a lot of weight in the snowboard world. Cab underflip to start things off. Going double wildcat, and he stops it. Mark McMorris is not holding back. He is not taking a victory lap. Clean back seven. <laughs> getting pretty out. Having some... Seriously beautiful turns in between each of these hits. It looks like he knows exactly where he's going right about now. And, and this isn't just a stay on your feet run. Mark did kind of go down there a little bit on that method. It's going to be up to the judges to call this one, but super strong run. A little backflip at the bottom. 
uh, just to, to make them forget about that fall coming out the landing. It's so hard to land in the box. Yeah. Oh, judges taking their time. And it is official. You see the depth the of heck, the mutual man, crazy. admiration. But Mark McMorris, what else can this man do in professional snowboarding? Honestly, couldn't have gone better. I was able to stay on my feet for the majority of the contest. There was that first run in the finals is probably my most technical run, but had some bobbles. Um, but I'm, I'm so stoked on the way I rode. I'm so stoked, stayed safe, and I'm just proud of snowboarding today. It was a great day, and never in my wildest dreams did I think I could win this natural selection. So when those kind of moments happen, that's just like the greatest feeling on earth. It does, you don't know how to feel, really. I just like, I'm completely shell-shocked.